Okay, so up next to the stage, can you please put your hands together and <coughs> keep them together until she comes to the stage? So! Told, which is um, a line I was uh, lent from one of Dylan's poems, um, and it's uh, the tale of my biological mother who I, I never got to meet. Stories that don't get told. You've saved them for me for when I get old, these stories that sit tight, demand to be told, not sold or squandered as the focus wanders. What now, she wondered. I would have walked into the heat with you, stepped apprehensive down metal stairs from the airways. Destinations expensive, love immeasurable, meeting maybe only once, but treasurable. The you that fitted with me, unmanageable. You and him, inseparable but unmarriageable. This is my story that doesn't get told. I was taken from you, memory sold, two days old, precious like footsteps in quicksand. My newborn foot in your hand, want to stay cocooned, blissful, made only to linger, obsessed with my toes, my tiny fingers. Wriggly, pinkish, warm, yearning. You were spellbound, honey drenched, hormonal, burning. We came as a unit, an entity, a couple. You were 15, <coughs> hair brown, green eyed, warm and supple. I always wondered whose smile I had, why the moon, the moon on the water makes me peaceful and glad. I always thought we'd somehow make it through the dark alleyways, disappointments, days when the wet winds blew. I always thought I could click my fingers and make you appear. You would just melt into me, no reprisal, appraisal, just us and no fear. It never occurred to me that nothing would come of the letter I'd been asked to write about my life on the run. It never once figured in my imaginings wild that there'd be only one side left to tell of this, the tale of the child. First mother now speechless, stone cold, a handful of photos no more. It made me feel sick, can't cope with these tricks. Nausea, trauma, headaches all night. Can't move or sit up or eat, can't bear the light. It's taken me years to reconcile myself with your absence. Still sometimes impossible, gut-wrenching, stripped bare of sense. I burn candles, say prayers, light incense, take refuge in woodland, swim when the sea's kind. To feel you, reach out in the night time, conceal you, to seek you, to know you, the real you. No answer to emptiness, it will have no repose like the scent of night stocks or the thorns on a rose. No rest for my longing of wanting to but not belonging. No rest for the disconnect that has come from separation, purgatory and neglect. One reassurance is maybe you felt the same, a bit, like oblivion, like longing, take another hit, to remember my fingers, my toes as well, to hear my name, then feel the swell of motherhood, ripped out maternity and forced separation. There can be no reparation just sobbing and trauma, the sweet lure of tears, conflict, empathy, disbelief, negation, temptation, oblivion, craving, sedation. Sometimes there's a reason that a story doesn't get told. Thank you.